This is Mrs. Wilkoskis in the library. It is um, February 14th, 2017. And this video is how to find articles that are in History and Dispute. The, those textbooks that if you've talked to me at all about coming up with a thesis statement, I always send you to the History and Dispute. However, sometimes they get checked out and um, then you don't have them available to you. So if you want a um, digital copy, I wanted to show you how you find that digital copy. All righty. So I'm on the library's haiku page. I'm going to go to subscription databases. We're going to go to the history and context databases. I think they're in U.S. history and context. However, I, there's no reason not to go ahead and search U.S. history and world history because two different databases. Okay. So I'm assuming you're looking at, um, at the titles from that book, which I'm um, uh, from the table of contents. So the first, uh, I think I'm looking, I don't know if I'm looking at volume four or volume five, but the first uh, article says aircraft carriers. What role did the aircraft carrier play in World War II? Then it has two viewpoint articles. So if I wanted to find that article in the databases, I would type in what role, I would type in the whole title. What role, you could actually go into advanced and you could type it in, in just and, and say that it's a title, but you're going to find it this way. What role did the aircraft carrier play? That's enough. We'll see. Go. And it finds one article. That's the article that I was steering you to. Aircraft car carriers, what role did the aircraft carrier play in World War II? This is from that History and Dispute series that I'm such a fan of. Okay, it starts with a um, background information of the aircraft carrier in World War II and the viewpoint articles. Uh, the, yes, they were decisive in World War II or they were only one of several weapons. They were not a decisive weapon. You decide, you know, when you make a thesis statement, you have to decide and then say comma because one, two, and three. They are decisive because one, two, and three. They are not decisive because one, two, and three. Or um, you could say, you could take that thesis statement and turn it on its, ed turn it on its edge and say that there was no one um, weapon that was decisive. Um, for the Allied's victory, it was necessary for them to use one, two, and three. And that could be your thesis statement. Remember, you can, you've can you got to make that thesis statement become whatever you needed to based on the information you're given. But anyway, that's how you find that information in US history and context. You probably already know this, but you get your citation tools. Okay, You guys are going to be using Chicago. Always check it. I cannot promise you that these are perfect. However, they're a great place to start. Copy and paste it. The other thing you can do is hit go to, if you if you like this article and you don't want to have to go out to the library page and go out to Haiku and do all that each time, all you have to do is click download, save to Google Drive, download. It's going to open it up. You go out to my Google Drive and you will see it in my Google Drive, which is amazing. There's the article in my Google Drive, and it's there to stay. Remember, you have to turn in copies of everything that you cite. So now you've got a copy. The other thing you could do is you can highlight from here. Highlight. You could take notes. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Hit save. If you do that before you download, it will actually save all your highlights, your notes. And then at the bottom of this article is even the citation. Um, you'll see it. Let's see. It's a big long article. There's your citation right there. I don't know that it downloads it in Chicago. I'm thinking that is MLA. So again, but it's enough information for you to build your own citation, but you that is not it in correct Chicago. Anyway, hopefully that is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.